When we started planning this event, we said, well, we have to have some kick-ass keynotes. And this is the first person that came to mind. We started as an entrepreneur when we were 17 years old. But he built his business and built his business and built his business here in Connecticut, just like each and every one of you are doing. His company has grown to several businesses. Contractor Nation is the big overall business part. And I'm so excited to have, as our opening keynote presentation today, You know, we know what a contractor nightmare is, and I think if there was a contractor utopia, right, this ideal version of the ideal home service contractor, I think we're more close and less far. What do you think? There's me on the far left. Don't judge. Look, the 80s just ended two months earlier, all right? Yeah. We just had a dream and we did our best. It's not the products that make you successful. If you don't have good leadership, you're not gonna you know, grow. Leadership is, is the, the key factor here. We have so much more potential inside of us and the boundaries will never be known. The word entrepreneur, I love this definition. The power to create oneself. The power to create oneself. We're gonna work harder than anybody. We'll do whatever it takes to make our business survive and we become a slave to it. And then we become a workaholic trying to fix this thing and we lose sight of, well, wait a minute, I just wanted to be happy, <laughs> you know? And I'm not happy. There'll be a time in our life when we're asked or we ask ourselves, what did you do with your life? What did you do with your life? By being exposed to new things, you can come to have an ambition, right? Come to ignite a desire in you. So if you have no ambition, get out there, do something, make a decision, go somewhere, get with some different people, travel to some different places, try new things. And then you find something, you say, ah, I'm gravitated toward that. I want that. Let me find more about that. And now you have an ambition. You don't have to wait on anybody else to give you an opportunity. You take it. It's all around you. You take that opportunity. You make that opportunity. You're gonna try it and it's not gonna work out. You're gonna try it and it's not gonna work out. Are you not better than the person who never tried anything now? The person who never tried anything doesn't know anything now. But you have tried four times and you failed, so you're smarter, you're smarter, and you keep going and you keep going, and one day, boom, you hit it, right? You're successful. I love this picture. It's, you know, man against nature. It's man versus the unknown. It's man versus himself. So I would encourage everybody to do something hard, right? So that leadership seems easy. What you're facing here seems easy. So when difficulties come up, you say, I got this. Now only half the teams that enter this race even finish. That means at some point they're unable to go on, either physically, mentally, or mechanically, likely involving a crash. And what makes us think that we could fly across the continent to a harsh, unfamiliar land and think we could do any better? You have to believe in yourself. Believe in your value. Believe in your ability to make a meaningful contribution. 
Believe in your ability to learn and overcome obstacles because you'll never outperform your own beliefs and expectations about yourself, ever. When you're an entrepreneur, nobody's telling you what to do. You can do whatever you want. You can make this business go to the moon or you could do nothing with it. You could, you know, everything in between. You could make it go this way, that way, the other way. You could work 20 hours a week, 120 hours a week. You could do whatever you want. This is the power to create oneself. And we should be able to use our business to really live an extraordinary life, right? That's what we want to do. The cards are stacked in your favor, okay? This is our moment, right? This is our time. And you can do this, right? How to do it is known. I am so excited to have, as our opening keynote presentation today, Larry Janeski.